Hello everyone and welcome back to more Ghost of Tsushima. In this episode we are going to finish the side quests for Sensei Ishikawa and also for Masako Adachi. Um, I think we have two left for the Sensei, one left Sakai. for Masako, so Good let's talk. jump in. When I was your age, people said I was the next Tadayori Nagao. You're the best archer we've ever had. Yeah, not even close. But I'm damn good. And I'm grateful for everything you taught me. I was so dedicated to my study. I never made time for a family. Tomoe was to be my heir. Her crimes. I could not forgive her. No samurai would. I devoted my life to the bow. The life it gave me was remarkable. But the life it took from me. Family is more important. Sensei? Don't become like me. Don't let the ghost consume you. Hey. Tomoe is somewhere in Kamiyagata. A last-ditch effort to rally the Mongols and restore her reputation. If she's here, we will find her. And end this. Yes, we will. Sort over there. Mongol convoy. Wiped out. By who? All shot in the back. Probably ambushed. Burn the cart. Flaming arrows. Japanese arrows. Lord Shimura's men? Japanese archers did this. Likely a group. Unless Sensei Ishikawa has been here. <gasps> Please, excuse me, my lord. It's a bad idea to sneak up on me. I thought you were with the man who killed these Mongols. He was samurai, but older. An archer? Sensei Ishikawa, where is he? He said he'd come back to my house in a day or two. Why your house? I have food. A fire? Whatever his business was, it seemed urgent. It's possible he picked up Tomoe's trail. Where's your house? Not far. But there's a storm coming, and I need to check my snares first. Then I can take you there. Fine, I'll go with you. What's your name? Matsu, my lord. What exactly did Sensei Ishikawa tell you? Nothing more, my lord. He wasn't the friendliest man. Sounds about right. I never talked to a real samurai. War brings unlikely people together. It's my chance to ask a really good question. Don't mess it up. <laughs> What's it like to hold the power of life and death in your hands? 
It's a heavy responsibility. But you secretly enjoy it. Only a monster would enjoy it. That's not the answer I expected. There! One of my snares. Check it quickly. I don't want to miss Ishikawa. Said it. You might have more luck hunting. Oh, I could never do that. So awful. Maybe try different bait. My bait never changes. What do you use? The illusion of opportunity. There's your problem. That only works on men. <laughs> this way, my lord. It's not easy surviving up here. It's hard everywhere. I fled north when the Mongols came. Alone? My parents died when I was a girl. I've been on my own ever since. Your family must be very important. My uncle is Lord Shimura. Wait. You're the one people talk about. The ghost. But you're not ten feet tall with eyes like a demon. No. But the stories frighten the enemy. So that's it. It's just rumors and exaggeration? <sighs> to fight them, I've had to do things I would have frowned on before. We all have. Don't hear this, my lord. That's not I've yours. We are sorry. It's just a squirrel. We have eaten grass and tree bark for days. Take it and go. Thank you, my lord. You let them escape. We thought dinner. They were starving. And no threat. Doesn't sound like the ghost I've heard about. Not all the stories about me are true. The blizzard is almost on us. How many more traps do you have? Just one. But it's farther away. believe I talk to you. What's it like to be the ghost? The stories are stories. Without allies and friends, I'd be dead. You're just saying that. I owe my life to many others, from the lady of Clan Adachi to a thief. People may not tell their stories, but I would not be here without them. We should get back soon. I don't want to miss Sensei Ishikawa. The last trap is just a little farther, my lord. Here we are. Hope we don't go hungry. Look at this! Dinner! You got something? We might eat like civilized people after all. What's up there? The mainland. No Mongols, no war. Somewhere I can start over. Say you make it to the mainland. What then? In Kyoto, I'll open a fancy inn. Learn to play the shamisen. Welcome the undying parade of beautiful men and women. While my servants rob them blind. Sounds like Kyoto's in trouble. It's snowing harder. We should go. Maybe your sensei will be waiting for us. <laughs> the weather's getting worse. Stay close. If I get any closer, we'll have to share a horse. What was that? Never mind. Keep going.
My lord, Mongols, close to the Show house. me your skill. I'll deal with them. Stay back. stories about you. Where's your house? Not far. Come on. Here we are. Let's get inside. You seem too kind to be the ghost. But the way you killed those Mongols... I do what I have to for Tsushima. The truth is, we're both survivors. We have darkness in us. If we didn't, we'd be dead. Sensei Shikawa said something similar. But it sounds more natural coming from you, Tomoe. Ishikawa always said I underestimate my opponents. I don't have an arrow in my back. Why not? The Mongols turned against me. After you trained them to slaughter our people. A mistake I tried to fix. But I can't kill all my archers. Not our own. You need me. And the sensei. But we don't need you. I know where they'll attack next. We can ambush them together. You get the victory, I get revenge. I'll talk it over with Sensei Shikawa. Jing. You can stay the night. No, Tomoe. I can't. Sakai, you have news? Something like that. I spoke with Tomoe. She's hiding in the north. The Mongols turned against her. If you saw her, why is she still alive? Her archers are preparing a massive attack. She wants the three of us to wipe them out. Or she needs both our heads to get back in the Mongols' favor. She could have killed me, Sensei, but she didn't. <laughs> I have never been rewarded for trusting Tomoe. I don't trust her. But we need what she knows. And I believe she needs our help. Then she's a fool. And we finish this. I hope your day is well.
Sakai. You have word from Tomoe? The three of us will meet. Then she'll reveal where and when her archers plan to attack. You think she'll tell us the truth? We'll find out. And Sakai, there will be no room for error. I came prepared, Sensei. Let's go. Where are we headed? North of Umugi Cove. She sent word to meet at an old gambling den. Might be a good spot for an ambush. We have the advantage. The Mongols turned against her. She is desperate. Desperate enemies are dangerous. Because they are unpredictable. But Tomoe has two choices. Enlist our help or betray us. You spent time with her. What do you think? She didn't attack me in Jogaku. But that could be a trick to lower your guard. We're prepared for treachery. If she doesn't ambush us, we hear her out. And if this planned attack is real, we cooperate. After that, we'll deal with her. She betrayed her people. She will answer for it. What will you say when you see her? I have nothing to say to Tomoe. You don't want answers? You haven't spoken since she joined the enemy. Any chance of talking ended the moment she turned on me. We're getting close. Eyes open. We go on foot from here. Stay low. A lot of places to park archers here. That's the gambling den. No Mongols. That we can see. Stop here. That outcropping to the right. I'll position myself there. Then you. Ding! If I was here to kill you. You'd already be dead! Damn. Get over here! You should wait out here. Not a chance. <laughs> Stay alert. Sensei! Jing? Always so sure of yourself. The one thing you never had to teach me. Your archers are planning an attack. Where and when? Umugi Cove. Heading there now. Why tell us? The Khan betrayed me. I'm taking my archers away. And if we don't help you stop them, they'll wipe out Umugi Cove. I don't believe you. Do nothing. And watch what happens. Damn it. The Mongols followed me. Damn you, Tomoe! No 
more traps, Tomoe. This wasn't a trap. She fought back against the Mongols, Sensei. To deceive us, so we lower our guard. If I want to put an arrow in you, there's nothing you can do to stop me. Enough. Mumugi Cove could be under attack. We need to move. Fine. But if Tomoe even breathes wrong, I'll put her in the dirt. Both of you. This way. Saving Umugi Cove won't make amends for your crimes, Tomoe. They forced me to teach your way of the bow. Did they force you to kill your own people at Fort Nakayama? They were being tortured. I offered a quick, painless death. And the Mongols spared me. I won't apologize for surviving. Mongol patrol! I've got them. What's the best route to the coast? If they see us headed for Umugi Cove, Tomoe's archers could be alerted. Agreed. We should stay off the roads. Cut through this field. How did you find my camp in Akashima? Your people attacked me. We tracked them. I told them to avoid you two. I had plans for a dozen more camps. I'm glad they ignored your orders. I lost control. By the time we set up in Kushi, I wasn't in charge. More ahead. A lot more. Take them. Sound like Sensei Ishikawa. The tree is at the end of the field. We can rest there, out of sight. Tomoe, you said you lost control of the Mongols in Kushi, but a woman saw you there with them. A woman you burned alive. That was not my doing. Not with your bow, but you trained her killers. Most of the time, I convinced them to spare lives, not take them. are out in force. They're hunting me. I thought I lost them. Didn't think to mention that earlier. I'm mentioning it now. Wait here until nightfall. We can use the darkness to our advantage. Will they attack the cove before then? No. They'll position archers. Make sure no one gets out. Plan their slaughter. Get some rest. I'll keep watch. Sun's down. Ready? Tomoe, you're in front. The sensei and I will follow. So you can stab me in the back? If the Mongols spot you first, we get out of sight and drop them. Let's Stay go. Stay close. Don't let her out of your sight, Sakai. I can hear you, sensei. Good. Mongol lookouts ahead. Jing, you take one. 
I'll take the other. More on the way. Hide yourselves. Dagoro, not there. O sudden, in the sonor serem steba. On your mark, Sakai. Don't miss, Sensei. You took that last one with the circling falcon shot, Sensei. You saw that. You change your form too. I shift the right hand down. So when you release. Hmm. That's it. Nobody said this would be easy. We get in a fight here. Your archers will be alerted. Start the attack before we reach the cove. We can't risk it. What do you think, Sakai? Follow my lead. Don't fall behind. Archers. The moment we attack, they'll retreat into town. Use it to defend against us. Innocent people will die. See the barrels in their carts? I'll circle behind. One flaming arrow. Once you shoot, they'll be on you. If you stay back in the tree line... I might miss. I need to get close. Let me undo the damage I've done. Go. You trust her? I trust her desire for revenge. <laughs> so that's how she stayed one step ahead of us. You taught her well, Sensei. I know. Get ready. Now! Not bad, Sakai. Where's Tomoe? I don't know. Was she wounded? Tomoe! Near the end of the fight, I saw her by the archway over there. That leads straight into Umugi Cove. If any Mongols try to retreat that way... Maybe she gave chase. Tomoe knows that killing her archers won't erase her crimes. But she got her revenge. Is that all she got? She fought alongside us. That will mean something once we defeat the enemy. Forget the Mongols. What does she want in Umugi Cove? There's not much here besides thieves and cutthroats. Damn it, and smugglers. She needs a boat to get off the island.
You there? Yes, my lord. Did you see a woman run through here? A warrior. She was headed for the beach. This way! Tomoe played us for fools. She helped save Umugi Cove. The Mongols were hunting her. We gave her safe passage to a way off the island. We're always one step behind. But there's still time to stop her. Sensei Ishikawa, we have judged each other harshly, but the Buddha tells us that our greatest enemies can be our best teachers. I am grateful for your teaching and for the chance to fight by your side. A final time, I have been your student. I would have become your daughter, but the way of the bow is behind me now. What lies ahead? I am like an arrow shot from a bow. Who knows where the wind will take me? It's over. Maybe she'll reach Kyoto after all. If she were anyone else, I'd say that's impossible. We still have a war to finish, a home to rebuild. I have no more lessons to give in this life, except one. Promise me, you won't repeat my mistakes. I promise, Sensei. a good student. My lord, I've heard people are climbing Mount Jogaku in search of the same power the Mongols used to light their blades aflame. A blade on fire? That would prove useful in such a cold place. What makes them think Mount Jogaku holds a secret? The musician's song. His words must be convincing if people are willing to risk freezing to death. Perhaps I'll hear the song for myself. The musician may still be at the base of the mountain, though I can't imagine he'll stay for long.
Jin. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're not. You've been praying. To my ancestors. Asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. What do they say? I can't hear them. Perhaps your ancestors are silent because they can't do what you must. I know where my sister is. Clan Kikuchi's old fort. Then you're ready? I have no incense left to burn. No more prayers to make. The Kikuchi estate is this way. How did you find your sister? She was married to a man named Ikeda, a retainer for Clan Kikuchi. Their stronghold is near here, under the mountain. She always wanted an estate and holdings of her own. And with Kikuchi's men fallen at Komoda. It made sense she would try and take Kikuchi's for herself. Especially after she failed to take yours. Ask around. It seems a new clan has taken up residence. Their emblem matches the one on the notes. And it's her. People say she's turned it into a haven for refugees, claiming she knows what it's like to lose her home. Do you think it's true? We're about to find out. Why would your sister say she lost her home? She had to leave home when she married Ikeda. You said Ikeda was a retainer? Yes. But you're the younger sister. Why were you the one to marry a samurai? When we were young, bandits attacked our estate. Hana hid with our parents. I took up a sword. Only after I dispatched the bandits did a samurai guard arrive to help. Adachi was leading them. Hana saw him as a way to realize her ambitions, but he only had eyes for me. She was jealous then, the seed of many betrayals. I wanted to ease her heartbreak, so I helped arrange her marriage to Ikeda, and she was sent north. After my father died, I had my uncle, but I have no family or friends. She had her husband. A stranger. What are you getting at, Jin? I want to understand why she went to such extremes to destroy you, after so many years. There is only one thing to understand. Hana murdered my family, and today, she will pay for it. Was there ever any sign of her betrayal? We were never close, but our relationship was always cordial. I would see her at Lord Shimura's conclaves. We'd exchange pleasantries. I had no idea she held such hate in her heart. But she was at your estate, the day of the attack. She came that morning, to wait with me for news from Komoda Beach. We were both concerned for our husbands. It was the first time I ever felt close to her. She met my grandchildren, brought them gifts. They loved her. Now I know she hadn't come for comfort, but to witness our deaths. The women in your family fought. I saw that for myself. I stayed with my son's wives while Hana took the children and ran for the stables. Afterward, I found what I thought was her body. The face was brutalized, unrecognizable. But the gold sash was Hana's. I buried her with my family. She must have learned you survived the attack. Faked her death to escape you. A clever plan. My survival was her greatest mistake. We're almost there. 
Leave the horses. We'll continue on foot. Guards at the gate. Be ready. This is a haven for survivors. There's no telling what to expect. Where is Lady Hana? It's Lady Master. Kill her! Put them down! Help me open the gate. Quickly, before more guards show up. So she is helping people. Hana helps no one but herself. Lady Hana, show yourself! Kill them! Where is she? Enforcements. You serve a murderer. Face me, you coward. Push toward the dojo. How many are there? Doesn't matter. Kill them all. I've had enough. Kill them and let's be done with it. Where's Lady Hana? In the estate up the hill, my lord. Tell the coward her sister has come. What will you do when you see her? Exactly what she did to me. She's still your family. My family is dead. She is nothing but a murderer. Show yourself. Little sister. You let me think I buried you. Who was it, really? A peasant woman killed by the Mongols. Did you weep for me? You have taken everything! Daughters and grandchildren. Not nearly enough. The Mongols robbed me of Adachi's death. And you cheated yours. But finally, I will take everything. Kill them. The good. Stop her. I will deal with them. Thank you. We have him!
You murdered my children. My grandchildren. Destroyed my family. A small price to pay for what you've done. I have done nothing. You stole everything. Drove me from our home. Took the life that was rightfully mine. Left me with that abusive drunk in this frozen land. You would have to suffer an eternity of pain to understand the life I've lived. The life you forced on me. None of that is my fault. It is. And damn you for acting as if it isn't. You've come to kill me. So finish this. It will be your only kindness. I can't end your suffering, but you can. Now, you have nothing! I never mourned my family. I've tried to honor them. Meditate on treasured memories. But she consumes them. Even now. I have nothing left. No. You've accomplished what you set out to do. You have honored your family, given them justice. Now you can find peace. This path does not lead to peace. Where does it lead? I don't know. I have to continue walking it. Find out. I don't want you to go. You must. But I will be there when you need me. Okay, let's start the side quest for Fit for the Con. I'll get an armor I'll probably likely never wear. I don't think I'm going to record me going around to these farmsteads because the areas are split across the map in Act 3. And uh, it also takes me quite a while to get through them. Um, so we'll kickstart this my off Lord, and then I will flick to the very last the one where I complete the mission and get the armor. Set of armor for Kutum Khan himself. It's not enough for him to conquer our home. He has to steal from my people as well. When my master finished his creation, he saw a chance to run. He fled with the armor. Where did he take it? He hid two pieces of it on different farms, far apart from each other. And the others? The Mongols got them. They found your master before he hid the rest. When he refused to tell them where to find the missing parts, they executed him. I'll find every piece of that armor and avenge your master's death. He'd be honored for you to wear the armor, my lord. Bring the pieces back to me, and I'll be sure they fit you properly.
Ich mit dem Show. meant for the Khan. That's every piece of the Mongol armor. I should return to the apprentice. What about him? I heard he blinded himself. I work on all kinds of armor. <gasps> My lord, did you find the armor? The enemy will never wear your master's work. And the Mongols paid for his death. It eases my pain to know his killers won't hurt anyone else. I just wish I could learn from him one last time. You can't teach others. You're right. I'll take an apprentice. Make sure my master's technique lives on. Here, let me adjust the fit. Saw me in this. Allow me to strengthen your armor, my lord. Goodbye. We pray for your sister. And that's where we'll start to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. If you like your gaming on the daily, please consider subscribing. I upload at 12 noon UK time every single day of the week, so until tomorrow, I'll see ya.